Hi, welcome to another episode of Beaker Hill Custom Fab. Uh, today we are working on this uh, 72C10. Uh, we're going to be putting the top moldings on. And for, if we get time, we're going to go ahead and put the bottom moldings on. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start with your door. The door is pretty much going to set your height because the trim sits right above the lock. It's got a little little indention right here that sits right above the lock. Uh, so I get my tape tape ran on there. And then I go ahead and set this on there. And I'll measure from here to the body line. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Whatever measurement I got right here, I will do, do the same measurement in the front of the door. Then I'll get that set up, get it mocked up and taped down. I'll go ahead and mark it out with a pin so that way my line's there and I know where it's supposed to be. And once you get that all set, you can go ahead and um, you could measure all the way across on the bed if you want to. Um, or you could just measure in the back and you can uh, use a piece of string uh, or a chalk line and you can mark your, your line like that. Some people also use a, a laser level. Uh, which works really well, but we don't have one of those, so we're not doing it that way. Um, if I can find my chalk line, we're going to do it with a chalk line, otherwise I'll have to measure it and get it set that way. Um, the only place you won't be able to measure, because the body line is different, is right there in the very front by the bumper. If you look at your fenders, the body line actually sits low right there in the very front. Um, so don't measure off that body line in the very front because you're going to be off a lot. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I already got everything taped off. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the trim taped up. Get everything mocked up first and see, make sure it looks straight. And then start getting the holes drilled. spots you got about 12 inches you know from here you got about 12 inches from here to here roughly uh, so I take a measurement from here and a measurement from here pretty much just get it lined up here and get your second measurement over here once you get your trim lined up on those two marks it should be straight all the way across um, so that's the way I would recommend doing that. You could also get your uh, your chalk line, put your chalk line about mid door and right on the bottom of the trim and run it all the way straight across and that'll help you get your line too.
he's on. Now we're going to go ahead and do the bottom on this side. Um, I still got to, I got to polish up the other side before I put the trim on there. We were removing some pinstriping. So I need to finish getting that polished and then I'll go ahead and put the trim on that side too. Okay, we're going to start doing the bottom section. Same thing with this. Um, if you can, you know, keep it off the body line. Probably about an eighth of an inch. Not very much. Um, get it. Get your tape down. Get it marked. Measure halfway. I haven't measured the trim yet, so I don't know what the thickness is of it. But measure halfway. Look up your diagrams online. It'll tell you how many clips for each piece. And uh, get your holes drilled. Get them marked. Get them drilled. Uh, the majority of these clips, I believe, have the nuts on the other end. So, we'll go ahead and get started on this. You don't, you don't have to mock the whole thing up like I did with the top. Um, the reason I do that with the top is because I'm not going off of a body line. So, you know, if you're off by one hole, the whole thing could, it's just not going to look right. You're going to see it. Um, but since I'm going off the body line right here, they're pretty much going to be, pretty much going to be on the body line. You got to guide your whole way. Um, so you don't really need to mock it up. Um, if you want to, you can. That's a, totally up to you. Um, but I feel like on the bottom, it's an unnecessary step. So I don't do it that way. So our trim is four inches. Um, so we're going to go ahead and measure two inches from the line that I put in the bottom and that's where we're going to be drilling our, our holes.
product. I still got to get the lower piece right there, but I need to take off the bumper. I'm going to do that later. Still got to do the other side.